What if a time traveler from the past appeared? The world of science fiction is chock full of plot lines involving time travel and visitors from the past reaching the modern day. But what if this actually occurred? What would it be like for the time traveler and how would we react? Are you a fiend for facts? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more fascinating content. Supposing we could do it, bringing someone from the past to the present would likely shock them to the core. Who are these people? Such a shock could have disastrous physical effects, even a heart attack or stroke, especially if the trip was unplanned as far as they were concerned. This culture shock would presumably be worse with the more time traversed. The language barrier and cultural differences would increase quickly over just decades let alone centuries and millennia. Where am I? Asking how we would react to time travel is also worth considering. Depending on how far back they originated, our hypothetical traveler could be seen as either through the lens of nostalgia or as a relic of our ancient past. Of course, the more time the traveler has traversed, the more fascinating it would be to grill him or her for knowledge. Just imagine the historical mysteries and arguments that could be settled by speaking with someone who was actually there. What happened to Amelia Earhart? How about the lost colony of Roanoke, Virginia? What was Cleopatra like? How did the Neanderthals go extinct? Did we outhunt them or outright kill them off? Of course, if a traveler from the past just showed up, Without our involvement, we might be pretty skeptical. We'd need extraordinary evidence to prove their claim. Verifiable first-hand knowledge that couldn't be learned from any modern history books. It's a standard of proof that few could meet. Technically, forward time travel is possible, although far from practical. To understand how, we have to tackle Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity. The theory proposes that time is relative passing at different rates for observers traveling at different relative speeds. It implies that time is more than a sequence of events, it's a fourth dimension, part of a continuum with the three dimensions of space. The theory allows for forward time travel through a process known as time dilation, because time moves more slowly for someone moving at faster speeds. The closer to the speed of light, the more time slows down. In fact, astronauts on the International Space Station actually age more slowly than us here on Earth, although the effect is incredibly small. So, hypothetically, if you could blast off into space at relativistic speed and come back, you'd actually be younger than your hypothetical twin on Earth. The principle also holds for those closer to gravitational fields, because gravity curves space-time. The more difficult question is whether or not a traveler from the past could go back in time, returning to their point of departure. There's conjecture that this could be achieved through faster-than-light travel, but Einstein's equations prohibit anything traveling faster than light. Our best bet might be closed timeline curves, loops in space-time created by cosmic strings or wormholes. For now, let's just assume that our hypothetical time traveler came from the past to the present and was then able to go back again. It's ice cream. You eat it. Such a traveler would be able to return to the past with all the secrets of modern medicine and technologies. He or she might be greeted as a messiah. Then again, too much knowledge could also be dangerous and could get that traveler killed back at home. They might be labeled insane, dangerous, or even a witch. You see, in our century, we've learned not to fear words. If this were possible, however, the ramifications would also be potentially disastrous for us, completely changing our timeline and erasing many of us from existence. Fortunately, this sort of situation seems to defy what we currently know about causality. As far as we know, causes can't occur after their effects, and effects can't occur before their causes. If they could, the traveler would be able to take our knowledge, go back into the past, and create a radically different world, meaning that his journey to our present could never have happened as it did. 
This is summed up in the famous grandfather paradox, which poses the question, suppose you traveled into the past to kill your own grandfather before your father or mother's conception. If you succeed, you would never have existed to kill him in the first place, which seems to demonstrate that changing the past is impossible. This is where the idea of parallel universes can be drawn on in lieu of traditional time travel. Perhaps when you travel back in time, you actually arrive in a parallel world, and killing your grandfather leaves your own world untouched. You might then be able to travel forward in time, remaining in the same world as the one in which you were never born. Is such a thing theoretically possible? Well, physicist Lee Smolin spoke with Space.com in 2013 about potential baby universes theoretically created through black holes arising from an equation pioneered by John Wheeler and Bryce DeWitt. The theory strays from Einstein's idea that time is an illusion, instead offering a hypothesis where time is real and moving between quantum realms of a multiverse theoretically possible. As we can see, a lot depends on the intention and abilities of our visitor from the past and just how time travel works. Would the time traveler bring with them long dead languages or extinct animals, transforming our historical knowledge and present day ecosystems forever? Would this time traveler see something in our present and return home to prevent it from occurring? Or would time travel open up the world to a whole new idea of trade, knowledge, and understanding? The questions seem to be never ending, and that's half the fun. Time travel continues to fascinate and excite us to this day while also inspiring legions of authors and filmmakers along the way. There's a good reason for that, and this endless wellspring of variables is what makes for such a wide open landscape for hypothetical scenarios. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.